Just look at that. How sick does that look? Beautiful autumn leaves and coming in to ABC Circuit. Just rocked up, Chaser looking pretty, ready for some shreds in a bit. And you guys know the routine, we got that uh, yogurt from the Family Mart, put the cereal in there, got the coffee, and uh, watching the homie Chris in his latest vlog. After we do this, we we'll go shred. So we've just arrived at Toge course and I still got some half spent tires on the back that I want to get rid of and Toge destroys tires so it's a good way to just quickly get rid of a pair and have some fun. Toge is seriously, it's probably the sketchiest track here I feel just because like it's obviously very, very um, narrow. There's a fair few potholes and drops and stuff like that. Plus obviously if you really mess up, you'll roll your car like 100% here. Um, but it's a really fun track, it's Toge. And uh, it still blows my mind. Like, look how good this looks, this view, guys. That's uh, Higashi down there, but I'm just loving like the beautiful view from all the autumn leaves and stuff like that. Anyways, enough of that. Let's go shred. We got some GoPro set up. We'll get some other camera angles and cameras placed out through the track. I think it's gonna turn out sick. Today's video is sponsored by Dafsky. And if you don't know who they are, they are an online store that sell air fresheners for your car. They have an absolutely massive range. So I'm gonna go through here right now. My K-Van's been kinda smelling a little funky lately. Or oh, maybe one of these ones. You know what, the pokey, oh wait, is that a taco one? Yes. We got this little guy out of his package and oh, that smells so good. And just like that, <sighs> Now the K-Van is going to smell good. So head to Dabsky.com and grab yourself some air fresheners for your ride. They're super affordable, massive range, and they always have those really cool little quirky characters and stuff like that that I'm sure all of you guys are going to love. So once again, Dabsky, thank you for sponsoring today's video, and let's get back to it. Let's just get out there and get straight into it.
love Toge course so much, but uh, these are the things you have to be ready to accept. So this happened on Toge course literally the same day I got these new wheels and drifted on them for the first time. And then now, I'm not sure if you guys heard it in the video, but uh, we just did this little doozy here. Nice little chunk taken out there too. Um, but for real, these wheels hold up a, to a beating. Like it, it's actually pretty impressive. For how affordable and cheap these are, they hold really well, <laughs> especially to some of the drops and stuff I fall in with them. Anyways, we still have a tiny bit left, which is perfect for some big backies at North Course, I think. So we'll get a couple of good laps there. Let's go have some fun. Let's get out there and have some fun, guys. Oh, I love North Course. This dash with the speed and everything on there feels so good to have. Let's go! Come on, Chaser! changing tires 
And uh, this is what I just finished up on North Coast. Really happy with the, the wear pattern here and just how it's pretty even. It means my alignment is pretty much dialed. We do have a bit of squat, so I do run like a little bit of positive camber, like 0.01. But for the most part, it's perfect. I'm heading to Nishi course now to spend the rest of the time that's left for today. But uh, I did a bunch of changes to the dash. We got the 100 reasons to drive, chase the graphic there and everything. The speed works, everything. Like I'm so happy with this thing. I've got everything there that I need. Don't have, need, like, have anything else there that I don't need to see while driving. Super happy with it. They've finished renovating the whole of Kudu Kudu land. All new surfacing, it looks so good. No potholes, no nothing anymore. Damn, all of this is new here now too. I love all the changes and renovations they're doing since the uh, landslide. All right, let's get out there and shred while well, we still have a little bit of time left. <laughs> so I got to Nishi course and unfortunately it's closed today for a training day. They're doing like a drift school there at the moment. It kind of sucks. Like I was, I was really looking forward to shredding Nishi for the like the last few minutes of today's track time, but uh, unfortunately, no go. So I'm gonna look. It's the freaking wasp. It's back. What the hell, man? If you guys were watching the Twitch stream, you know what that's about. But like, I swear, like every time I'm at Ebisu, these big wasps try to come inside the chaser and I have no idea why. Or they just attack me, it's weird. Anyways, I was a little bit bummed because we didn't get to drive Nishi, but it's all right, we'll get to drive it again really, really soon, especially at Mitsuri. Um, and now I know that there's a few little things that we need to get fixed on the chaser. Even though we replaced that knuckle, it does seem like we've damaged some stuff. And I did jack it up before and kind of wriggle it around and it does seem like, like the ball joint in the upper arm there is a little bit how you're doing. And the tie rod, um, is like compacting a bunch. So the tie rod's definitely shot, which explains why I'm fighting it so much sometimes at big angle and why it's like going backwards and forwards and giving me trouble. So it's not the end of the world. Super cheap and easy parts to replace. And now that we did this, it means the car's gonna be in tip top shape for Mitsuri, which was the whole reason why I wanted to come was to just make sure that everything's gonna be good for uh, Drift Mitsuri, which is also why I didn't drive Minami today. Um, I wanna just fully send it on Minami at Mitsuri because that's the last Mitsuri that will be able to drive Minami and just enjoy it. I wanted to stop by school course and just check out the uh, renovations and see where they're up to. I hope they're, uh, oh wow, they've actually done a fair bit. I really hope it's gonna be ready for Mitsuri, but I mean, judging by looking at it now, I don't think so. They have like two weeks to have this done. They did say, depending on delays and stuff like that, they weren't, weren't sure if it was gonna be ready in time. But uh, yeah, it looks like they got a lot to get done. So they've removed this whole island here all the way up until there and filled it in already. So that's gonna be getting compacted even more. They've done this one and they still got a lot more to get done. Yeah, bummer, this may not be done by Mitsuri. I hope it is, but I guess we won't really know until uh, until Mitsuri, so yikes. I really can't wait to see this fix because I've destroyed so many wheels on this corner going reverse. <laughs> oh man, oh, not too bad. Hopefully it'll be done in time. I don't think it's going to really matter too much like whether or not this is going to be ready for Mitsuri just because everyone's going to be really focused on Minami. I think Minami is going to be the busiest because it's kind of the last Mitsuri that will be able to drive it as it is now. And we did get a, a fairly like decent amount of information from a new video that Kuba Kuba-san did with Video Option where he talks about the future of Ebisu Circuit. And the main thing is that um, with Minami, uh, the, they've promised that the layout isn't going to change. Um, and then the other thing is, the biggest thing is that they're really changing the surface so that it's more suited for rally driving as we suspected. So we don't, I don't think it's going to a dirt track. I think they're just gonna be changing the surface to gravel or something like that that's more suited for the whole um, rally kind of motorsport industry. The biggest thing Kubo Kubo-san is thinking about is the future. He doesn't want Ebisu's image to only be about a drift wonderland or a drift park kind of thing. He wants it to be about all motorsport. He wants to bring the GT racing series, like grip series and stuff here, and really just improve Ebisu circuit as a whole in all kinds of motorsport. So that's his thought process with it. And he really wants to bring the rally stuff to, you know, to the circuit and I mean, the origins of the track was rallying in the first place. So, you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna enjoy Abisu as it is. Um, his whole focus is that, you know, 
the current situation where cars are getting so expensive, you can't get like a decent turbo car with decent power for cheap anymore. Um, and he thinks the future is all gonna be people on like 350Zs and 86s and stuff like that, and you, they have no power. So he's thinking of just making, you know, tracks and, and focusing on people being able to afford drifting and have fun and uh, without spending tons and tons of money. Because let's be honest, these cars are not as cheap as they used to be, and they cost a lot of money now. And uh, I kind of agree with Kubo Kubo-san for the future and from a business perspective, it makes sense. Um, but it is obviously sad to see, you know, Minami going as we know it now as a drift jump track and it's going to be more focused into rally. So we still don't know what the surface is going to be. They haven't really spoken about that because I don't think they really know. Um, but he did say that the layout isn't changing. So hopefully we'll still be able to drift it. Just means we're going to need grippier tires or something because right now the surface is so gripped, like so like coarse, you need like really non-grippy tires to be able to drift it with that unless you have like, you know, a D1 car. But yeah, anyways, we'll see what the future holds. We still don't really know. I'm down at the shed because before we leave, I want to get a whole bunch of stuff sorted and ready for Mitsuri with wheels and tires. But I also want to put those new wheels on the Z, see what it's like. If I enjoy it for the next few weeks before we're back from Mitsuri, we can switch them back and get something else. Um, but we have six of them, so two definitely going on the front of the chaser with some new tires for Mitsuri. And then uh, we'll just use the rest on the back. And if I do like the color on the Z, it's not a big deal. We can always order more. So I'm going to get these new wheels all mounted up and ready. And hopefully it looks good on the Z, we'll find out. It's really dark right now, but the wheels are mounted and they look epic. Gonna go to the convenience store and then we'll get a better look at it with some better light. Just got to Family Mart and there's enough light here where we get to get a good look at the Z with the wheels. I'm not 100% sold yet on this color to be honest. I'm curious to know what you guys think. We'll see if it grows on me in the next few days or so, but uh, we have a tiny bit of poke in the front end. Just the, like, like the tiniest bit. The rear is perfect though. So, fitment perspective, we're pretty on point. Except coilovers needs to definitely come down a bit more, especially in the front. Anyways, we'll see if these grow on me. If not, it's not the end of the world. The chaser will just end up using them. I think I've already decided what we're doing with the wheels. I sent a picture to May and she already replied and said that looks dope, so I think we're gonna keep them. Happy wife, happy life. Am I right, boys? <laughs> that was an easy decision. But anyways, guys, I think now's a good time to wrap up today's video. I didn't get to do as much driving as I hoped to. I spent a bunch of time setting up cameras and angles and that kind of stuff, which I normally don't because I just focus on driving. But I did all of that yesterday on a Twitch live stream. And uh, it turned out really, really good. I got a lot of seat time and a lot of practice. And I'm really happy where the chase is at. A few little things we need to fix with uh, that ball joint in the upper arm and uh, my tie rod end. But otherwise, that's it. And it's going to be epic for Mitsuri. But anyways, guys, smash that like button, write me a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Ciao, mata.